welcome back to my channel i'm sania thank you so much for your love and support on my last video if you guys haven't checked it out i posted a detailed video on how you can apply for a masters in austria i will link it here it covered all important topics like what kind of jobs you can get being an english speaker what the visa process is like we talked about pr and the cost of studying here and much more so make sure you check that out today i have another informative video for you this video will be useful for the people who are about to graduate high school or for people who have already graduated high school and are looking to start applying into universities for their undergraduate degree. I will be talking about the universities that are providing English taught bachelors in Austria because most of the universities here, they are offering programs in German, but there are a few that are offering programs in English. So this is what I'm going to talk about today. So without any further ado, let's start the video. Okay, so let's start with the first university. Uh, the first university is University of Applied Sciences BFI Vienna. This university is offering two programs in English. One is Banking and Finance. The other is European Economy and Business Management. So for people who are interested in pursuing a degree in business related field, they should go for this university. So these programs, they are not BSc, but they are Bachelor of Arts in Business. So they are like BA and not BSc. And the duration of these programs is six semesters that's the best part about studying an undergraduate degree here that they are for three years and not for four years like we have in pakistan and the tuition fee per semester is 384 the other universities their tuition fees is like 747 but this is like the lowest tuition fees that i've seen so far so that is very very affordable and let's go through the requirements so the admission requirements are you need a matriculation qualification or general university entrance examination which is like your high school certificate high school transcripts and grades and foreign equivalent of an austrian school living certificate so you can like upload any of these you can see that there is an or after every sentence so you can upload any of these documents and that's it the best part about studying in this university is you don't need ielts you do need a competence level of C1, but you don't need to show it. You don't need to attach any certificate like IELTS or TOEFL. So oh, that's going to leave for you. They will test your English language skills during the admission process. So you don't have to attach any certificate. And the application dates for this university is 1st October until 15th May. So you have a lot of time to prepare for the university. You can start applying after 1st October and then you can prepare for the visa and other steps that are required. The next university that I'll be going through is Vienna University of Economics and Business. This again is a university that is offering programs in business related field. So they are offering just one program in English and that is business and economics. So again, the duration is six semesters and their tuition fees is 747 per semester. So this is higher than the previous university that I talked about. Um, and for this university, you can just apply once a year. So let me go through the selection process and show you how the selection works for this university. So this is the selection procedure for this university. From 1st of March to 19th of May, the online registration starts. And if you pass this selection process, you can start the bachelor's program in winter semester. Like if you go through all these steps and you pass this selection process, you can start your program in the winter semester. So the first step is online registration and the dates are 1st of March to 19th of May. And then you have the online self-assessment and you have to submit your motivation statement between these dates. Your motivation statement will be graded and okay so this online self-assessment will not be graded but the motivation statement will be graded but both are mandatory and then on 28th of june you will have a written online exam and then the admission starts from 11th of july to 5th of september so once you have like passed the selection procedure you can start enrolling in this program so again, like I told you, they only have like winter intakes. You can apply once a year. So you can start preparing for it if you want to apply for this university. And then these are the welcome days. And let me now show you the documents that are required for this university. 
So the documents that are required for this university is your secondary school living certificate. You have to send them an original as well as a copy. And the second one is applicable for a few countries, not for everyone. And then you have to legalize and translate your required documents, completed application form, CV, passport. And again, this is also only for a few students, not for everyone. So for this university, you have to submit an IELTS certificate or a TOEFL certificate. You need to show your B2 level skills. So you need to have six band in IELTS and 85 in TOEFL. And for people who have done uh, Cambridge O levels, they don't need TOEFL or IELTS. They just need these certificates that are mentioned here. And if you are from an English speaking country, then you just need a documentation proving that it is your first language. Let's talk about scholarships now. So this university, they're also providing some scholarships. So if you go to their website, you can see they have merit scholarship grants. They have need based scholarship grants. I will link everything in the description box so that you can go through these scholarships. And then there is a website where there are multiple scholarships for Austria. So let me show you that you go to this website, you press English. And then here you can select the country of origin, let's say Pakistan and your target country is Austria. And then you can say what type of grant you want. And let's say we want target group undergraduates and the area computer science, and then we search. So now we can see there are like multiple entries for computer science. You can go through these. The last university that I'll be going to is Johannes Kepler University Linz. This university is not in Vienna, it's in another city called Linz and they are offering four programs in English. Artificial Intelligence, Chemistry and Chemical Technology, Biological Chemistry and International Business Administration. For this university, the duration is six semesters. The tuition fees is 747 per semester and the deadline to apply for this university. If you want to apply for the winter semester, you have to apply between February 6 to April 30. And if you want to apply for the summer semester, you need to apply between September 6 to November 30. So you do have time to apply for the summer intake. You can start applying now and gather all your documents. Let me show you the documents that are required for this university. You need to have a passport, certificate of general university entrance qualification, which is your secondary school certificates and proof of having passed the university enrollment eligibility, which is your secondary school certificates, grades, showing that you have completed secondary school and you are eligible to apply for a university. And then proof of language proficiency. For this university, you again have to submit an IELTS or TOEFL. Let me show you the language certificates. You need to show them that you have English level B2. So for the first three programs that I told you about, you need to show them a B2 level, which means six band for IELTS and 85 in TOEFL. But for the program in International Business Administration, you need to show that you have English level C1. So again, this university is providing us four English taught bachelor's programs. For biological chemistry, it is a dual bachelor's degree and you spend the first year in Linz, Austria and the second year in Czechia, which is like amazing, amazing opportunity. And you get to spend your bachelor's degree in two countries and you will get a dual bachelor's degree in three years. This was it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, please let me know if you guys want me to cover any specific topics or if you guys have any questions, feel free to put it in the comments below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.